welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's me, Asar. If you are someone who has applied for German BSc, Nursing as well as KHS courses for the academic year 2025-2026, this video is for you guys. So let's get into it. Day 1 Medical Examination for PWBD Candidates It is a mandatory health assessment to verify fitness for the course. So, if you belong to this category, make sure you attend this step and bring all your documents along with you. Day 2 Certificate Verification This is where Zipmer checks every single document you submitted online. You will need to carry both your originals and three photocopies of the following documents. A valid ID proof either Aadhaar card, bank passbook or driving license. The Zipmer BSc verification checklist which will be emailed to you before counselling. NEET UG admit card, NEET UG scorecard, Zipmer BSc application form, date of birth proof either 10 certificate or birth certificate, class 12 mark and pass certificate, character and conduct certificate, Resident Certificate or Aadhaar Card Community Certificate Transfer Certificate or Migration Certificate 6. Passport Size Photo which is recently taken 3 set of photocopy for all the above documents Once your documents are verified an eligibility list for the final counselling process will be published and the candidates in that list will attend the final counselling schedule on day 3 so during counselling day, every candidate who are eligible after the document verification will be seated in APZ Vukaram Auditorium. You will be called upon your merit rank as well as the seat will be allocated on the basis of roster point. So what is roster point? About roster point, I will be talking in the end of the video, you can see so exactly how this seat is being given. See, in your roster point is being called upon. There will be a screen showing which are the courses that have seat left and from that you can choose whatever course you need. So like you have to go to the stage, stand there, introduce yourself and say which course you are opting. For example, good afternoon everyone, my name is so and so and I will be opting this course. Thank you. This is how you have to choose a course. And after choosing the course, you will be... So during my counselling time, it was like... When my roster point is being called upon, I had in my mind that I need a BMLS. So when my roster point was called upon, there were so many vacancies in BMLS. So I got into the stage, I introduced myself and I said I am opting this course, BMLS. And I said thank you. Afterwards, afternoon there will be a meeting and they will be saying about what will be conducted the next day. And the next day is for medical examination. During medical examination, they will be taking our blood samples. They will be giving vaccination for hepatitis B. 
will be checking our eyesight, that color blindness and all. After your medical examination, you will be allotted to hostels. At that time, you need to bring the hostel fee. So let's now talk about how this roster point allocation works. In this, the serial number is the order in which the candidates are being called upon and the roster under roster point reservation, you can see UR1, UR2, OBC1, PUR1, these are your category rank. UR1 means you have you are like the first rank in general category. It will be UR1 who is the first candidate to be called upon. And then UR2, then UR3, whoever has the first three consecutive ranks in there without any reservation will be called. The fourth candidate will be called upon for selecting the seat will be OBC1 which means if my URS unreserved rank for me is 10 but my OBC category rank is 1, I will be the person who will be called upon the fourth. And the fifth one will be PUR. PUR means which area unreserved category. Like that the seats will be allocated. That's everything you need to know about Jitmar admission process and make sure you double check the documents, reach the venue on time and follow all instructions carefully on the comment section if you need any details regarding the course, hostel, how is the life in Jitmar and whatever doubts you have.